today on Between the Sharks. The VersaTube carport system versus the Carolina carport system. Let's get into it. All right, gang, this is a Carolina carport. This is a VersaTube carport. Uh, there are a lot of differences between the two. Some are big, some are small, but there's still differences. So I'm gonna do my best by running down basically the major categories, the options you can get, the timeline, the cost, the materials, the design, and you know, all things installation. So first of all, just because of the way my yard is oriented and all of that jazz, I prefer having the doors on the side of the carport, which is not traditional. Typically, they're basically like on this end. Now, the Carolina carport does have this as an option. It costs a pretty penny, but this came from the factory just like so. I did learn that VersaTube does not offer this as an option. So uh, I'm a pretty competent welder. I wasn't really that worried about it. I knew I was gonna have to modify the kit to make this the thing that I wanted. But you know, in case you're shopping, if you want this, VersaTube does not offer it currently. Maybe they'll, that'll change or you know, whatever. But uh, it'll cost you over here, but they will do it. I knew I needed more space. Uh, the car collection was kind of growing. The tool collection was kind of growing and I was spending a lot more time in the garage. So for me, it was worth the investment to add on to get us some more covered space in a part of the yard that wasn't really being used. That said, I budgeted everything and I went ahead and I called Carolina and I said, hey, Carolina Carports, you guys built this building for me about five years ago. I would love to extend it another 20 to 25 feet, depending on what you guys can do. Let's talk about options. And then they told me two things that have changed. One, they no longer connect new buildings, new buildings to existing buildings, which is a problem for me because that's what I needed to have happen. And that used to be an option. And now you have to have three feet all the way around your structure in order for them to come over here and install it, which is a huge convenience. So I said, okay, Carolina, okay, that's fine. Why don't I order it from you and you just drop it off and let me assemble it and I will deal with that. And they said, well, I'm sorry, sir, but we just don't offer that. And I said, well, okay, well, what if I haven't built it right next to it and then I connect it later? And I asked for the timeline, like how long would it take? And they said at least six weeks and up to three months. Now, granted, it's 2021, 2022, the supply chains, labor, everything's a mess right now. I'm just saying that led me to look for other options. And that's when I found VersaTube. So I called up the fine people at VersaTube and I said, hey, fellas, I would like to do a 25 foot by 24 foot garage extension. What do you have for me? And so we went through our options and they told me that they could have something ready to ship in a week. And I said, well, boy, howdy, that's more like it. That fits my timeline. I had a limited amount of time to try to get this landed here on my property and get it set up, you know, basically time between work around the holidays. And so that became a big priority and a big selling point because not only was Carolina not offering the extension capabilities that I wanted, their timeline was way longer. However, if you're not trying to extend something and you're more patient than I am, neither of these factors should really, really matter to you. Now let's get into the materials and the design and what allowed VersaTube to get this building here so quickly. Here we go. So the VersaTube system is pretty clever. They basically send you a rail with welded uprights and then you sleeve the vertical piece on there that gives you the height that you ordered because these come in different lengths. Then you sleeve in a rafter piece and those come in different lengths depending on what you've ordered or what you want. Sleeve that into a roof piece, a matching rafter piece, and then in theory, if you hadn't modified it, just another vertical piece into another rail with your welded ends on it. 
Now granted, that is a lot of pieces to make any one of these things work, but because the system is somewhat flexible, they're able to palletize all of it and put it on a truck and it is ready to ship within a week, which is pretty convenient and that's why this guy was really drawn to it. Bear with me because this is quite a bit taller, but the Carolina carport system, these are all built at the factory. That whole rafter is a single piece and it sleeves into the vertical upright that sleeves into the base piece that we probably can't see. So somewhere back in there. So when all these pieces arrive, they arrive on a really big trailer, but they are essentially assembled and ready to go. Let's talk about material. Um, we are gonna skip the skin, the sheeting, the sheet metal, this stuff here, because neither of these companies uh, manufacture their own skin slash roofing material. That's basically just a metal roofing company uh, that they purchase from. So it's sort of irrelevant which carport company you buy from because you're basically gonna get the same thing. It's gonna be the one available in your area. So the framing itself though, here is the Carolina carport I believe it's two and a quarter by two and a quarter square tube, which is the structure for the uprights and the rafters. This is the VersaTube two inch by three inch rectangular tube, which is essentially, you know, the structure for all of the stuff behind me. Is one better than the other? I don't know. This one's holding up just fine. This one's more beefier in at least this direction, which is what's holding up the roof skin. So maybe it's better? I don't know. You tell me. Let's talk about how they, uh, you know, assemble all of these pieces though. All right, Carolina style. The rafters and the uprights are this two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And the way that they do all of their joining and assembling is by using a slightly smaller, size square tube that sleeves in and fits super, super tight. And uh, your rafters are all a single piece with a little welded nub and that slides into your upright. And you know, like even trying to sleeve this on here, with you guys watching, it is tight. It, there is not a lot of, like there's a little bit of wiggle in there, but really not much at all. I like this system. This is the VersaTube system. They have a swaging device that smushes down a section of the tubing so that it slides into this other stuff and then you fashion it, fasten it with sheet metal screws. Now, it works, but the joint does not fit very well compared to the Carolina carport system that's leaning up over there. Like, yeah, it works, but it has slop literally in every direction. And if you wanna know what I mean by that, really watch the videos where I'm struggling to assemble that. Let's take one more look with this in mind at how these two different buildings are assembled. So here in the Carolina carport system, our single piece rafter has a piece welded on at the end that slides in vertically to our upright. That sort of means that our rafter is you know, assisted by gravity to stay in place, to stay sleeved into this. And we have a seam at the top and at the bottom of our upright. Other than that, we basically have single pieces. Here in our VersaTube system, we have our upright that curves as a single piece, meets the rafter extension piece to the cove, to the, I don't know, top pinnacle corner, you know, the, the roof peak piece. And then same thing on the other side. So we're talking about from our uprights, one, two, three, four, five pieces, all with sloppy kind of joints that don't fit all that well. What does that mean? Well, it means that every one of these can be assembled, you know, in some different degree this way and if they're not flat, you basically can be out of square in every 
direction. Also, for those of you following along really closely, gravity will assist this joint. On the other hand, this joint, gravity has the potential to make this not hold together. And the entire structure is assembled with sheet metal screws. That said, I'm not saying the system doesn't work because I have already had snow on this roof and I have had some insanely powerful windy thunderstorms go through here and the building is holding up just fine. So clearly the system does indeed work, but if you watch the videos on assembly, this system really only seems to serve to benefit the manufacturer because they can palletize it and ship it out. Because when the assembler goes to assemble it, it causes, uh, what do you, how do you say it? Uh, there, there's a lot of room for error if you're not double and triple checking all of this stuff. Let's, uh, let's talk about installation. Well, I've got three videos of how painful that was. Now, granted, I was doing it mostly myself and I was making modifications to it. If I'd had some helpers or a little buddy, my life would have been a lot easier. And, uh, you know, I say over and over again, it really does help to have, you know, friends when you're doing stupid projects. That said, this six dude showed up with a trailer one morning, assembled the entire thing, and we're done by four o'clock in the afternoon. You know, so that's something to consider, I think, for sure. All right, so cost. Um, it's a little tricky because VersaTube didn't offer what I needed and what I wanted but I felt comfortable modifying it. So I'm trying to do apples to apples. So I checked some websites today and let's say a 20 by 24 by seven standard carport. No eave openings, nothing fancy, whatever. Carolina style is like $2,784. VersaTube is $3,558. Now that's not an insignificant price difference. And the guys really also got to consider the fact that this shows up with labor and they assemble it for you. This shows up on a truck where they charge you extra if you want a forklift to actually unload it from the truck and put it at your building site. It's a big deal. So, you know, you gotta be pretty dumb to do what I did, which was not fork over the 250 bucks, break the pallet on the truck, throw it into the back of my pickup truck and drive it into my backyard. But I'm stubborn and cheap and maybe you're smarter than that. Now I should also say this, the frame for the VersaTube business ships within a week. However, if you order your roofing material, your siding, that type of stuff from VersaTube, they're also gonna purchase it from somebody local, but they don't necessarily show up at the same time. So you will have some time with your VersaTube kit to go ahead and build your frame before your sheet metal arrives. Now, I don't know what the timeline is on that. I was frustrated enough that I ordered this and found a local roofing supplier, distributor, to sell me the standard five rib metal and ordered that independently. I'm just saying that in case, you know, because it does affect the timeline depending on you know what your situation is so guy ought to know that that's different is what i'm saying so um noted moving on i'm gonna try to just be really fair about it the best i can in this conclusion uh let's talk options versa tube they didn't have what i wanted i knew i was gonna have to modify it when i ordered it carolina i could put any size doors anywhere i wanted within any of the carport kits they sold. And, you know, there was more than enough variety for any of that. So I was able to custom order exactly what I wanted. Paid for it, but it was, but, but it was available to me. So that's good. Timeline. Well, you know, four to six weeks is normal for this type of company, but in these modern times where everything's a bit chaotic, it was even longer and they couldn't guarantee anything. VersaTube told me they'd ship it out in a week and they shipped it out in a week. Materials, clearly the sheet metal aside because that's the same, it's all third party. 
I don't really know if one's better than the other. Two by three versus two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I would say that the two and a quarter by two and a quarter is probably stronger in all directions that it could buckle in the upright sort of situation. But in theory, in the roof situation, the three inch on edge might be a little stronger than the two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I mean, I'm not an engineer. Clearly they're both standing. This one's been around for five years. It's been fine. It's more than strong enough to support everything that it is supporting. So I don't know if there's an advantage there. Design, right? Like engineering. I'm not an engineer, obviously. Guys, you know that. But I like the Carolina carport better. I like the fact that the rafters are all a single piece. I like that gravity holds our joints together everywhere that we are, right? I didn't really mention this because, you know, carports have, sometimes they have a curvy little like ends to them, but I like the look of this. So I paid a little more for it, but with the Carolina carport, the rafter actually extends over to create a soffit. On this one, as you can see behind me, behind me, behind me, up here, they just have these little brackets that screw on to the curved piece of metal that already, you know, that comes with every kit. So they don't have an option for a squared off rafter. They just have a little add-on piece that you have to pay extra for should you want this look and not just the curved look. Yeah, you know, the way this thing assembles, there's so much room for error. Gravity's really not the friend of half of the joints in here. And, you know, this is sheet metal screws and gravity. This is just sheet metal screws and swaged bits. Um, the Carolina pieces fit way tighter than the VersaTube pieces. It's design. I, I don't, you know, I, I gotta go with Carolina for sure. The design of this is clever and I like the fact that, you know, they can palletize it and swap out one part for another to change the size. But that's not a convenience for me, the consumer, and as you guys have noticed by the price, I'm not saving any money for this, like, at all. One little addendum to the design difference between two of these buildings. Um, I modified the truss setup just because the truss webbing system that they send with this is intense. And we don't have super big snow loads in the southeast, so I made an executive decision and modified this, but you can see that it does come down quite a bit. And if I'd follow the instructions, it actually would have come down oh, as low as this joint and run straight across. As you can see, the Carolina building just has this one piece of bracing and they're both rated for my zip codes, snow load, etc., etc. The reason that's important is, you know, if you wanted to put a lift in here, this system, gives you a lot more headroom. Finally, there was installation. This was hard to do. I struggled and, uh, you know, watch those three videos and you can get yourself an idea of what it's gonna take, even if you don't modify this, because it's it takes some doing and it's big and it's heavy. This, you just have a cup of coffee, buy the guys, you know, some Gatorades, relax and at the end of the day you got that building i mean the end of one day obviously the foundations have to be ready for either building so that doesn't change but um oh yeah did i say that that's included in the price like that's a yeah yeah just just saying it out loud makes me wonder what the hell i was doing but let's all right, so what does it all mean? I mean, I would say that it's an absolute no brainer. If you do not have a garage or carport standing and you would like to add a metal building to your property, it's kind of like VersaTube versus all. Like literally, as far as my research goes, Carolina, carports and more, Allen's factory, whatever, they're all less expensive than VersaTube and they all come with installation included in the quoted price. 
and that price is still cheaper than the kit alone from VersaTube. After that, the quality of the product, this Carolina design and the way everything fits together, I like it better. That's not that this isn't a quality product, but the swage system and the way that things fit, it could be cleaner, it could be tighter, it could be better, it could be more user-friendly. That said, I think it's plenty strong and it's not going anywhere, but uh, that's not all there is to it. For me, for what I needed, I still think VersaTube was the right choice because it allowed me to get the kit, modify it, and do what I needed attaching it to the other building because Carolina no longer offered that service. In addition, I did not have the time or the patience to wait six weeks to four months to get another building installed. On top of that, I had graded the foundation on my own. So there are a bunch of reasons where this was the right choice for me. But I have to say for anyone watching this for advice, I just, outside of all of those extenuating circumstances, I can't imagine any reason not to go with a system like this. Just the installation alone, having, you know, four to six dudes who know what they're doing to put this together. It's safer, it's faster, it's uh, a lot less frustrating. So anyway, I, again, it, it's nothing against VersaTube. I'm just trying my best to uh, compare these products in the fairest way possible, having purchased from both companies and made significant investments to, you know, basically improve my property and get myself more space to work and, and enjoy my hobbies. I would say apples to apples, if you're just trying to buy a building or get some garage space or a carport or whatever, I hands down the value and the design and the fact that they come and install it for you makes Carolina or a Carolina style product the clear winner over VersaTube as a DIY kind of kit assembly. I mean, at the end of the day, you save hundreds of dollars and they install it for free included in your savings so unless you have some extenuating circumstances like i did meaning you know a timeline deadline to meet or wanted to attach a new thing to a building that you know the installing company wouldn't do that's your clear winner so i hope this is helpful to somebody i think the versatube product is indeed a quality product i am not in the slightest bit worried about having two cars that I care a great deal about being under it. It's a strong structure, but for money and time and effort, that's, that's the way to go. You know, I, I would have much rather been working on other projects than installing this as much as, as interesting as it was. So, um, anyway, that's my two cents. I hope it helps somebody out there if you're shopping or you're in the market and, um, yeah, thanks for watching Between the Sharks. Good luck on your projects out there. We'll see you next time.